Welcome everyone, today we want to talk about customizing your toolbars. You all know the Akika toolbars, most of you will have the standard toolbar activated permanently I guess. And I do have the attributes toolbar activated here right now too. You can activate and deactivate toolbars by right clicking on the blank space next to the toolbars. Or go to window toolbars and select or deselect one. But I guess you all know that already so let's move on and create a custom toolbar. You can right click here to go to toolbar editing menu or go to options work environment toolbars. The menu looks pretty much like the one from the toolbox. On the left side you have all available comments that you can put into a toolbar. You can choose between different listing methods like alphabetical or logical menu structure. On the right side you can select the toolbar you want to edit. But in this case we want to create a new one from scratch. We can do that by clicking on toolbar options. Here we can also rename, delete or duplicate existing toolbars. But let's click on new toolbar and choose a name. The new toolbar starts empty and now you can easily add comments to it, selecting one on the left side and clicking on add selected. You can also choose more than one command at once. If you have some commands in your toolbar you can grab them on the small arrow symbols to change the order. There's also a special command at the end of the list called separator. It's the separation line you can see in the standard toolbar for example. You can use it to divide a toolbar into different logical parts. Let's see how a new toolbar looks like. There are some more options at the toolbar options menu. You can also select how you want to see the comments in a toolbar. Just the icon or icon plus name or just the name for example. Last but not least, your scheme will be automatically saved as custom, but you can always go back to the default settings here. Which commands you like to have in your toolbar or toolbars is only up to you. It's a matter of taste and a matter of experience. If you use many shortcuts, you might not need so many commands in the toolbars. I know which commands I like to use, so I made my own toolbar already. You will get that one with my template file when this series is finished. And until then, have a great day and stay creative.